Hey y'all, hey, let's get into it. How y'all doing? All right, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Okay, so real quick, y'all not be getting these downloads and just be coming to me and I'd be like, okay, I hear you, I hear you, let me get it out. So first things first, Spirit said, I told you so. All right, I say to the answer, the spirit, spiritual energy right now for this real reading is really like, it's not heavy, but it's like they're gathered. Like I don't know how to say it, but it feels like they all want to come in and say something. So I'm going to try to calm my the the speed of what i say down but when i feel like this i feel like it's a lot and i have to get a lot out and so i'm just gonna chill relax right but it's like i told you so there's also an energy of smoke and mirrors um check out the last reading that i did on these two um there's also an energy of um Okay, so Jenny Mai has a lot of um, ancestral energy. But she's also got a lot of people that play with her energy. And this is family. I mean, that's just what Spirit is saying, acknowledging. Like she, so uh, Spirit is saying that she is underhanded because she learned it. Does that make sense? She learned how to be underhanded. Again, this reading is alleged. And so there are things that she is doing that's underhanded because this is her makeup. This is who she is. You know, you know how they say, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. That kind of energy. So the the person that she's putting out, like, okay. hey, thank you, spirit. There's something about people. Um, oh, man, you about to go there. Okay. So there's something about people the collective believing what they see on television when these people are actors this is what they get paid to do and so they they they're performing they're actors <laughs> and so it's crazy because it's this energy of people believing everything that they see when it comes to these actors these performers these entertainers and then when they you know their eyes are open and they're awakened to who these people really are they feel bamboozled and it's like that's their job to act to entertain to show you something that they are not and i'm not saying all of them but this is the download that there are most of them okay and and for whatever reason energy wants me to say this because this connects to her um and i don't feel it as strongly to him but it does connect to her not saying that he you know he don't hollywood is hollywood all day spirit also wants me to acknowledge that it is not my job to awaken the masses that's not why I'm here. This is not why I do what I do. That's not my job. I don't even want to. Okay, because we know what happens to people who awaken a large number of people. We've seen it time and time play out in history. When a person who is in alignment oh, tries to awaken the masses, that person succumbs to dun dun dun. Okay, and that's just, you know, me saying it in a very soft way. Um, and so that's not my job. My job is to make, you know, get myself into alignment and understand what the universe is saying to me. That's my job for me. You do what you need to do for you. I will say this. I feel like the goal at this universal game <laughs> is to awaken and is to get in alignment from all of the distractions. This is like the ultimate game of life. <laughs> All right, let me get back into it because here you play it. You play it. Let me, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's get back into it because we ain't going to go there. Not too much. Not too much. All right, so when it comes to Jeannie Mai and Jeezy, what's his real name? Because Spirit said, stop playing with me. All these. J. Wayne Jenkins. Is that right? Jay Wayne. Okay, Jay Wayne. All right, there is an energy of somebody is snuggling up, pillow talking with a homie, with a with a lover, Mr. Lover Lover. Pillow talking, bonding in someone's favorite. A lot of solar plexus energy because they're saying that I have the fire in my belly to do what I want to do with my body. Adi, adi, adi. And this is something that they continue to do over and over again because they were looking for a breakthrough and a solution. What was the breakthrough and the solution? A child. Okay, a manifestation. All right, and I do see black men equaling protection. 
I do see a swirl of emotion. Again, going back to this card, this has the brouhaha all over it. And so somebody is definitely doing something to get what they want. And they don't care how many times they had to do it over and over and over again. They want this. They want this child. They want this manifestation. Abundance, fertility, beliefs, support, growth, beginnings, and in your prime. Serious set, underhanded all day. Um, again, we got my Holly Weird card. So it's everyday lightning bugs. Catching everyday lightning bugs. Everyday magic. Um, simple pleasure. A secret wish and it's going to be communicated upon whatever it is that this person wants they are going to get okay that's that's the that's the name of this game um and spirit is also acknowledging that this could be an earth sign or this could be just someone who's a non-conformist when it comes to this you want this i bet you don't let me put this information out so that you don't get what it is that you want because i win at this i'm good at this and this is the energy of jenny my i'll just be completely honest this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes so swinging on the front porch uh, feeling cozy, um, humbled, um, excited, being thankful. Um, and Spirit is also acknowledging, watch her leverage. Watch her leverage because there's something about Holly Weird and how they do things and how people rise to the top. Um, and when you start to see them more and more in spotlight, this is just a download that they've done more and more things to get there. Um, and when it comes to this quote unquote more and more, you know, saying that I'm saying is this energy of sacrifice and, and, you know, doing things to get what they want. I'll just, I'll just say that. Let's just keep it going. All right. So Jenny Mai and Jay Wayne. Thank you. So yeah, there's an en energy of a mind invasion. Um, and it keeps saying like somebody, you messing around with somebody else, are you doing this with someone else? And then there was a heart attack. There was almost like a moment of, <gasps> Because what's done in the dark is coming to the light. With the moon card here, um, it's being exposed. No, you can no longer suppress it. It's coming to the surface, right? Um, it feels like something that was shocking, some kind of detail that was shocking that sparked this energy of, I want out of this relationship. Did somebody step outside of their relationship? Because now the bow has sailed because someone's touched the forbidden fruit. Okay, so the love is lost. Love is gone. And it is emotional. We do have a water sign here. And Spirit is acknowledging in the middle of the deck that there is an altar here. So it is acknowledging that they were married, but they are going through a tower moment, chaos, pain, tragedy. Um, it was unforeseen. It's just, it's blowing up the house. Okay. Um, and now someone is silently crying. All right. So let's dive a little deeper. Uh, Jay Wayne, how do you feel about Jenny Mai? This card want to come out. Um, forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit. Um, she's got lovers and friends. She's into the brouhaha. I told you guys that already. And that she's cold as ice and he's saying fuck love when it comes to her. There's no sorries allowed. Okay, and there are skeletons that came out the closet. So there's this energy of him saying, "Did she cheat on him?" He, it feels like it feels like that's the energy. Like she was unfaithful. She didn't follow that. Like, oh, not she didn't follow direction. Spirit stopped playing, and he feels like he had a heart attack when he heard some information. Like, wait a minute, who, who, what's that, Risa Tisa? Who the, Risa Tessa? Who the fuck did I marry? Okay, so Jenny Mai, how does she see Jay Wayne? The ship is sailed. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back because the skeletons came out of the closet. And she said the lies you tell because she's had to bandage her wounds. Um, she did say they had a love like fire. Uh, but there's dead peacocks now. Death to pride, death to ego. Um, but she's acknowledging the ship sail because there were some skeletons that came out of the closet. And he's lying. She's side-eyeing. She's like, yeah. And so, again, Spirit says, believe half of what you... Um, uh, see and none of what you hear they I mean you know people always say like couple goals couple goals you don't know what these people are dealing with behind closed doors that ain't your business <laughs> these actors are acting you know <laughs> anyway all right Jenny Mai and Jay Wayne thank you you already know the tea spirit said and they real busy with the tea they stress they having delays they're busy um see it keeps saying that somebody's been cheating there's evidence of cheating in this relationship and that's what made the the house of cards fall down also these are fake friends they're cautious people are watching the gossip hey. um thank you spirit watching the shit go down and enjoying the gossip there's a pregnancy test unsure pregnancy scare positive or negative and this is really interesting because i remember when i was reading on her and him 
it being like another pregnancy or something like that. Could be a pregnancy, could be a manifestation. What is Jay Wayne's uh, issue with Jenny Mai? Thank you. She don't want to hear it. She don't want to hear about the secrets. So she don't want to hear it, but he's keeping her a secret. He like, oh, you thought you, okay. You didn't think I was going to find out. Mm. Anyway, and that's Leia because it feels like she's keeping a secret too. They just constantly was keeping tabs on the other, like just in case kind of evidence kind of stuff, right? Um, Spirit said, I told you so. Um, Jim, nothing, um, meeting someone at the gym, long hours and doing more than working out is what he said she was doing allegedly. And Jenny Mai, what's her, what's her issue with Jay Wayne? She feels like he has a crush on somebody. And she has to protect herself and keeping herself safe. Is that a... That is a weapon. Um, and she's also acknowledging that... Um, be careful. They both look the same. Salt or sugar looks can be deceiving. So she is acknowledging that he came off like this person. And that's not who he was. That's not who he, who he is. And she needs to protect herself from him. Um, but she's also acknowledging that there is a crush. And this is interesting because the crush... Please clarify the crush. Jeannie, my energy towards him is that he had a crush. Or this was just a crush. Puppy love. Yeah. He went from a crush to a hater. <laughs> and she was fulfilling a fantasy with him. And should have used sexual protection. You know, sometimes people feel like they're like, oh, I love my child, but I wish I wouldn't have had my child with this person. Interesting. Okay. Spirit, what is the energy in regards to this relationship between Jenny Mai and Jay Wayne, also known as Jeezy? Okay. Y'all. Yeah. Why does this... I keep seeing a weapon. I don't know why. Um, there is no easy way when pain comes from the heart. OD. Mm. So there's an energy of... Um, hey. Thank you, Spirit. Someone not tolerating weakness and incompetence. Gossip. Difficulty keeping secrets. Marital infidelity. Y'all superstitious doubts everything and everyone unyielding jealous lonely pref uh, prefers to live isolated from others um so spirit is acknowledging the biggest lesson for your inner revolution is to learn to keep your success and plan secret odu odu ad itself is a delicate energy especially in its negative aspects so to avoid fates setback learn to keep quiet about yourself and others remember what is neither said nor known cannot be envied or destroyed if that ain't a word oh my goodness let me say that again what is neither said nor known cannot be envied or destroyed who if you know you know that hits because sometimes we be so excited about sharing our good news that we only align ourselves with people who want to envy it and or destroy it. Mm. Y'all check out that reading I did on them. Anyway. What do, what do, what does Jay Wayne's ancestors want to say to him in regards to Jeannie Mai? The altar of fire in reverse. Delays, delays, delays. This is the energy of, or there is an energy of confusion about your new beginnings, ideas, and success. You feel unmotivated. You are waiting for inspiration to hit. Be patient. What goes down must come up. Have compassion for yourself. Declare it is easy for me to be successful. This is not the time to tiptoe. Be big. Be bold. You are manifesting wonderful outcomes, but you must take creative action to let it all in. Be ready to expand and evolve. This is what you have been waiting for. 
Alter. Spirit say alter. Are you into it too, sir? Uh, alter. What does Jenny Mai's ancestral team want to say to her in regards to J. Wayne? Jeezy. Okay, I'm hearing opposites of track number one. So risk it all with a root of fire. Stop tiptoeing. Your ancestors were brave in ways that you cannot even imagine. Acknowledge their lessons of courage within your own journey. Yes, you can make it happen. It is safe for you to feel beyond your usual uh, limits. Uh, embrace your personal freedom and follow your passion. Be curious. If you are an advocate for social issues or an activist, let your voice be heard. You can make a difference. Declare, I am passionate about my next steps. And then Spirit also has this next two, Creature of the Earth. Second time we hear something about the Earth sign, Fire sign, Earth sign. Uh, take charge in reverse. Are you bored or boring? Get back into the flow. You are ignoring so much of your life. Don't beat yourself up for being lazy, quote unquote, or allowing perfectionism to block you. Perfectionism. Hmm. Self-inquiry. Am I overwhelmed or depressed? Ooh. Declare. I finish what I start. Okay. In regards to that situation, I told you she's got some strong ancestral energy. Um, there is a calling on her life. There, It feels like. A baseball team of energy I don't know why but it just does like they they see her as the next <laughs> big energy they're also acknowledging that she needs to go on a soul search a spiritual enlightenment like um, a timeout a break to contemplate to gain some inner guidance some solitude to reconnect it feels like um to be in alignment with the universe with the, the hermit card virgo energy because she is out of uh alignment with the empress in reverse there's a lack of growth overbearing disharmony negligence insecurity for infertility and spirit is in the middle of the deck with the three of wands. There's also unrealistic plans, fire sign energy, arrogance, um, moving home, a lack of foresight and planning. Something is blocking her, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging that she has made a lot of money. And this is because they're working with her. Like, if she doesn't feel it, she needs to understand. Because it feels like she's got a lot of ancestral energy, a lot of them. Um, earth sign energy over here. Uh, becoming a nonconformist around the energy of money and finances. And this is where they really team up and try to help her um but she's got a windfall of money um she's got a, a money that is going to touch her children's children's children this is what she was trying to set it up for um with the three of pentacles there is hard work commitment working together they're acknowledging that she works with them i don't know if she does like um ancestral money or some type of offering but now i'm starting to see like this offering that she might be doing in her practice and spirit said this is why she's had so much success and achievement there's this energy of sacrifice i think i said that at the beginning um there's this energy of her working with her ancestral team very closely um reaching her goals expanding now there's also an energy now it's telling me but they don't like they don't like this other thing that she does they i mean they're committed to her her in her life's journey but there's a side of her life a side of her choices that they did they do not like what is this okay boom what is this what are you talking about um this side of her that is very hasty um um the side of her that has to do with um holiday romances <laughs> um moving too fast taking things like taking off like just just action fire sign i always say passionate yet chaotic in the area of business and also in the area of of romance um and they're also saying that they don't like when she um she she must has she suffered from depression before this reading is a ledger but there's this energy of her being paralyzed by fear, anxiety, pressure, hopeless, helpless, powerless, um, drama, imprisonment, punishment, slavery, feeling trapped, feeling restricted, feeling backed into a corner, feeling victimized. They don't like this for her. They're like, we don't, we, mm -mm. I'm going to need you to stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need this energy to come up off of you. I'm going to need you to pay attention. Hey. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is also acknowledging that in the middle of the deck, they want good news for her and new beginnings and, and new findings and new passion 
in action and travel. Again, fire sign energy. They want her to be curious. They want her to be patient. They want her to be guarded, but they also want her to be calculated and unconcerned about others' feelings. They want her to communicate. Okay. Come on, ancestral team. All right. Jay Wayne in regards to Jeannie Mai. I think something flipped. Okay. They saying that he's going to be successful, success, victory, winning, having advantage, um, having supporters, being in the spotlight, uh, feeling very successful with this recognition, fire sign in the area of passion, but also in the area of business with the four of pentacles. He's going to lose a lot of money in this situation, um, but he has to shed the old and let go of people and possessions and issues and be more generous and an un an, an unwarranted fear of poverty. Like this is cool. It feels like um, I've been broke several times. <laughs> Being broke for this cause, it, it means nothing. He's going to work very hard at it when it comes to Jeannie Mai to make sure he get his money up, but, but also to get what he, it is that he wants from her. I don't know if that's just a divorce, share custody, full custody, who knows. But it, it's something. Earth sign energy again. I'm um, being a non-conformist in this energy, but also focusing on the bag, right? So he's going to get a new job and he's going to start building and trading and working hard and being very committed and concentrated to the success and having what it is that he wants. It seems like they both are just like, I want, I want, I want. What is the outcome for Jeannie, Mai, and Jay Wayne? Thank you. All right, Spirit is acknowledging that there is delayed news, so be patient. There's something that still needs to come out. Um, and then somebody is very calculated and unconcerned about the other person's feelings. So there's some information getting ready to come out. And they was like, I've been waiting for you to drop that. Because guess what? I'm about to drop that da 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 too. And it's going to be very inspiring. It's going to bring them the luck that they want. Um, I do see fire again. Um, see air over here. But it's just acknowledging that this is going to be a challenge. And they're up for the challenge. They're up for getting in the game. They're up for it because they're like, I will have the last lap. Um, there will be fulfillment. And this will make them very emotional. Wishes coming true. Realizing that their dreams have come true. Success. Uh, so this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a fight of a century uh, with the King of Swords in reverse. Um, someone is going to be feeling like the other is very selfish, 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 ruthless, devious, premeditated, malice. Someone who do, who is overly cautious as well. Interesting, because I said she is underhanded, and I and I and I meant that um, because she, it feels like. Hey, don't get me wrong. Listen, this is just the energy. Like, don't don't come a comment. So I'm like, hey, come, come out. Um, I'm just giving y'all the download. It feels like she is very callous, callous. She is very calculated. She is underhanded. She has been pre prepping and plotting. That's just the energy that comes through. Mm -mm. This coffee is so good. Not my business, right? Not my problem. Sending them both love and light. This feels like it's going to be, um, you know, a very interesting uh, battle. Um, so, you know, now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does. Thank <laughs> you.